We're here in Galveston at the Kroger, and so we just got like every bar from here to there. Britt and I are doing keto right now because I'm trying to drop a little bit of water weight for a thing I have. So the first thing I see are these ratio ketos. And you guys know I reviewed the cereal. I didn't approve it, but we're boasting net carbs in the front. So you know that net carbs are BS. The FDA does not recognize net carbohydrates. There's no legal definition of net carbs. We always want to look at total carbs. 100 calories per bar, nine grams of fat, good. Very little sodium, that's fantastic. 75 milligrams, 11 grams of total carbohydrates which isn't terrible to be honest, but it only takes about 30 to 50 total carbs to kick you out of ketosis for the day. If you can stay under 30, you're pretty much guaranteed to be in ketosis. So you could have one of these for the day, but is it really a keto product? Not so much. I'd like to see it well under 10 grams or even under five grams of carbohydrates to be true keto. That being said, one gram of sugar, no added sugars, three grams of protein. So there's only three grams of protein in this whole thing. You'd have to eat like a hard boiled egg or another source of protein on the side for it to actually satiate you completely. Almonds, chicken root fiber, erythritol. Erythritol is where these sugar alcohols are coming from. Unsweetened chocolate. That's great. Butter, which is cream. Thank God that they're using butter and not margarine. I love this. Pecans, cocoa powder, vegetable glycerin, eggs, chia seed, coconut oil, stevia extract. This is actually a decent bar. If you could get some more protein in this, it's not terrible if you're doing a ketogenic nutrition plan, but you've got to watch those total carbs. And as far as the ingredients go, they did a really good job keeping it all natural. So I'd say, okay, not too shabby, guys. Another one that you guys ask a lot about are good macros. I've done them before, but it's been a long time. I'm going to grab the peanut butter chocolate chip one. 11 grams of protein, and it's organic, so we're off to a good start. 11 grams of fat, 10 milligrams of sodium. That's pretty amazing. Very, very little sodium. 39 grams grams of carbs, which is a lot, 14 grams of sugars with 12 grams of added sugars. So let's see where those come from and only 11 grams of protein. So technically this is not a high protein food, just so you know, because there are 290 calories. Use that 10 by rule that the dietitians like to use. You take the grams of protein, multiply it by 10. So in this case, there's 11 grams of protein, multiply it by 10, that's 110. If the calories is equal or less than that, it's a high protein food. Organic brown rice syrup. At least the sugar is coming from an organic source, but it's a syrup. It doesn't have the fiber included in it. There's only two grams of fiber in this entire bar. Rice syrup, another sugar source. Organic peanut butter, great. Organic protein blend, that's fine. Organic chocolate chips, which is made of organic coconut sugar. So sugar's still sugar. It's still gonna spike glucose. Your insulin's gonna go up and your body's gonna shuttle nutrients to fat stores faster. Okay, everything else looks good, but it's all these syrups. So even though it's organic, it's still a syrup. And so now we're just taking the sugars out of things and we're processing them. So you're getting 14 grams of sugar with 12 grams of added sugar. This is a hard pass for me. If I was going to go to wrestling practice and spend three hours in a wrestling ring at high intensity, close to maximum heart rate, I'd burn through these sugars. That would be the only time I would eat something like this. And remember, when there's sugars in your bloodstream, your body's going to use that first for energy. So you have to burn through those sugars first before you get to body fat. Good old Quest bars. So check this out. 20 grams of protein, three grams of net carbs. I'm going to show you why this is BS. So when you come to the back, 170 calories, which isn't too bad. Seven grams of fat, that's fine. 24 grams of carbohydrates. Total carbs, 24 grams. We always look at total carbs, never net carbs. They are advertising three grams of net carbs. So the average person's like, oh, this is great. The carbs don't count. They absolutely count. No matter how much fiber you have, the combustion rate of a carbohydrate is still four calories per gram of carbohydrates. Less than a gram of sugar. They're using sugar alcohols. There's 20 grams of protein. That's fantastic. This is a high protein food. Milk protein, whey protein, polydextrose, almonds, water, erythritol. There's been some controversy around erythritol right now. However, the latest study that came out a couple weeks ago. It's just a pilot study with 10 people. We're still waiting for peer-reviewed results to be returned. I'm not throwing in the towel on erythritol yet. Sunflower or soy lecithin, stevia, but it also has sucralose, so it has an artificial sweetener in here. So honestly, this is going to be about balance for you. When you get down to brass tacks with the Quest Bars, they're a high-protein food. They've got 12 grams of fiber in them, which isn't bad at all, but just remember, a carb is still a carbohydrate, so your body is still going to process these carbohydrates, so this is not a keto-friendly bar. However, I think for today, this would be another win if you're on the road and you're doing a carbohydrate-based diet. Okay, Quest, yay.